Sports can't wait to get some NBA action going. Alongside Greg Anthony and Steve Smith with David Aldridge on the sideline, this is Kevin Harlan. Last game for the Pelicans, they ended up losing to the Pistons. Yeah, sometimes the matchups just aren't in your favor, no matter what you do. And it seems like your opponent does it better. You know, they were reacting rather than dictating. I thought they played scared all night. Now, the opening lineup for the New Orleans Pelicans. Jones is out there with Kyrie Irving. Then there's Barry. And it's Haywood in at the four slot. And here's New Orleans now. Pass to Jones. Atacumbo pulls it in. The Prophet passes to Abdul-Jabbar. Yep, that one goes. Here we have two first-year head coaches, Steve. That being said, how long does it take for teams to learn a new system under these new coaches? Kevin, is easy. If you have a veteran team, less time. If you have a younger team, it could take some time. You just have to be patient if you have younger guys. That bucket in in no time at all. And the passing skills of Giannis continue to improve. His floor awareness has grown through the years. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, Willie Green had a few moments to share with me. I asked him what the focus was coming into the game tonight. He said one word, rebounding. If they can hit the glass with a purpose every time down the floor, he thinks they're in a good position to win. Kevin, back to you. Thanks for the report, David. Rebounding certainly the key topic now. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. And that's what a coach loves to see in a close game. Just put your head down and make something happen. Here's Haywood. And that's rejected by Abdul-Jabbar. McGrady kicks to Ana de Kumbo. A three-pointer off the mark. And it's Irving with the ball for the New Orleans Pelicans. Trailing by four. That's a foul called on the Prophet. That is his first foul of the game. Pass to Irving. Let's it go. Off the mark once again. Terrible quarter for him thus far. The Prophet passes to Rice. Abdul Jabon dishes to Rice. Onto Takumbo trying to free himself up. And it's off from three-point range. Pelicans still look like they're getting going. Puts it up from 17. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. The Prophet passes to Yas. Takes a three. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. And he makes it look so easy. Rice's fluid shooting form really helps him on those long-range misses. I think people underestimated the Pelicans last year. They, they had such a tough start to the season, but still were able to make it to the playoffs. High offensive IQ. He makes great reads and adjustments on the fly. And it's out of bounds to the Pelicans. Pelicans trail by five. Unfortunately, the Pelicans did make a first-round exit in the postseason game. In a series they took to six games, but yeah, it couldn't put together that deep run. Maybe this year things will be different. Oh, taking it to the rack with power, hammering down the two-hand slam. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively. For sure. That's a foul called on the Prophet. That's foul number two for him. Jason Terry. He's checked in for the Prophet. Passes it to Barry. New Orleans moving the ball around. Jones against McGrady. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Tracy McGrady. That is his first foul of the game. And now only one away from being in the penalty. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. On the wing, Irving. And the three ball is good. Irving's got seven points. Shoot first kind of guard. Kyrie Irving doesn't waste any time. Abdul-Jabbar gets to Rice. 
tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Here's Jones. It's good only a few seconds into the shot clock. Here's McGrady. And the pass to Rice. Outside, out of the combo. No good on the three. The Pelicans trail. Right side, Jones. Can't tie it up as that one misses. Abdul Jabon dishes to Rice. Kicks to McGrady. Pass to Sabonis. Giannis, that's a two pointer. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. He won. That misses had a chance to tie it there. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. That be honest. Looks up a three. Out of the combo. Can't get that one to fall. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. Jones, the pass to Irving. Back to Jones. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. And it's all knotted up. Resourceful move there. That, that was not an easy one to convert, especially given the high disadvantage. I love the way he created space for his shot. And to me, this is the perfect spot for a Giannis jump shot. Keeps the opponent honest. On the wing, Irving. This one for three. And it's Rice with the rebound. Irving's gone three for eight tonight from the field. The tray. Rice, no good. And here are the Pelicans now. Trailing by two. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Here's Abdul Jabal. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And don't let the lean physique fool you. Kareem, with the strength to finish through contact, as well as anybody who's ever played. And Simmons has got the ball here for the Pelicans. Timeout called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. And just trying to get some traction offensively. Boy, it hasn't been pretty. You know, this is a good time to maybe switch up your strategy a little bit. You can't keep doing what you're doing and expect a different result. A fantastic string of games for him. Your Western Conference Player of the Week, The Prophet. And you can see how valuable he is to the team with the amount of offense that he generates. Rarely is there a bucket where he didn't have a hand in creating it. Just a late reaction there from the defense, and he is always going to finish that one. Not loose. McGrady kicks to Giannis. Sabonis, the best to Rice. And here is Ade Kumbo. And the three off target. His inability to make shots has not brought this team down. That shows you their resourcefulness. Pelicans trail by three. And Greg, even with teams daring Giannis to shoot from outside, his career three-point percentage stuck below 30%. And still an elite scorer because of his proficiency at the rim. But it's been said before, if he adds the triple, he'll be truly unguarded. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Personal foul, second team foul. The first one falls. And Sabonis drops them both. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. Simmons against Abdul Jabbar. And Nate Thurman is the charter member of one of the NBA's most exclusive clubs. First player in league history to ever record a quadruple double. Very few guys have pulled that one off. New Orleans shooting their first free throws. First trip to the line in this one. Yeah, and 79% from the line as a team a season ago. Pretty reliable in that regard. McGrady passes to Giannis. Off target from three-point range. Well, it isn't for a lack of effort when it comes to getting up the three-pointers, but not much to show for it. He's going to lose the green light here very early in this game if this keeps up. Birdsong misses. Irving against Andre Kumbo. At the elbow, it's Abdul Jabal. 
Down his high post. Looking to get back on track here. Simmons pulls it in. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down, try to get some easy ones. They now take the lead. And the Pelicans lead by one. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Count it. Six points for Giannis. And I can't think of a higher percentage look than that. Uh, Giannis, one of the best ever working inside. And a wide open look for Irving. Buries the long range jumper. Riding the hot hand, and why not? If something's working, keep going to it. Here's onto Takumbo. Out of the Kumbo, can't get that one to fall. Outside, Simmons. Unable to get that one. Good defense by Abdul Jabbar. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And Giannis's journey, GA, so incredibly compelling. A full length movie made about his and his brother's path to the NBA. Well, you hear that saying, my life is like a movie? Never truer than for Giannis. It's been an odyssey for the Greek freak. Now, here is Irving. He's got 10. We've got a nine second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. It's good. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. McGrady kicks to Ada de Kumbo. Over Barry. That misses off the backboard. And here is Irving. He's got 12. Plenty of space. Another one falls for New Orleans. On offense, Kyrie Irving is so crafty. He keeps finding ways to get around the deep. What a performance for Kyrie Irving. He has been the story for the New Orleans Pelicans. Total four. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for New Orleans. Tonight, early on, this team is saying, forget the analytics. Let's take mid-range shots. They can be easy points. Also, they're getting into the teeth of the defense. Points in the paint, something coaches always love to see. Setting the four now for the Pelicans. We've got Barry. He's out there with Ben Simmons, and it's Thurman in at the center. Simmons against Sonata Kumbo. Six to shoot. 11 feet away. Simmons can't get it to go. Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a decent matchup. Here's Rice. That's good. Great play set up by T-Mac. Tracy McGrady. McGrady's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Irving passes to Simmons. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. To the paint, here's Thurman. Lays it up off the glass. Thurman's got it all tied up now for New Orleans. And Simmons is just so intelligent in these screen and rolls. A fantastic decision maker. They get it again. Sabonis kicks to Rice. Here's McGrady. Oh, offensive interference. McGrady's gone. One of three shooting so far. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Simmons on the wing. Outside Irving. From deep three-point range, the long distance three is buried. Irving's got 17 now. A move shot from Kyrie. He's a monster from distance. Here's the profit. The rebound by Thurman. Thurman's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. And that's a foul called on the profit. And that'll be his third foul so far. And that's his third foul. The chance you take leaving him in with two. Let's see if they'll sit him now until the half. 
We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Here's Birdsong. McGrady covering. Scooped up. Tries again. And he sinks the layup. And it's a five-point Pelican lead. More good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. The Prophet with the bucket. Their third three-pointer in a row. Outside, Simmons. There is so much young talent, Steve, in today's NBA. That being said, whose game should an up-and-coming player try to emulate? For me, Kevin, for the 25 and under crowd, the guys I love, Luka Doncic, unbelievable. Ja Morant, Anthony Edwards, LaMelo Ball, and it's a whole slew of others. And for those of you just joining us in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by, it's deflected, and so it looks like the Pelicans will retain possession here. Jones checked in for New Orleans. Sam Jones. Outside Irving, but three. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Giannis has got six rebounds in the game. Rice dishes to Giannis. McGrady passes to Sabonis. McGrady outside. Fires from deep. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. McGrady's got five points so far. And, and how about getting a hand up on McGrady, especially when he's looking to shoot from the outside? Timeout is called first of the game for the Pelicans. Inside. Here's Irving. Sabonis grabs the ball. Sabonis has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Snatched up. And to Dekumbo. Missed inside. And so it's Irving. He brings it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. And the Pelicans miss again. He just doesn't look like himself this quarter. Something's missing. And it also shows you how difficult this game is. He's just a little bit off, but it can result in missing everything. The Prophet with the bucket. Oh, playmaking isn't a focus for Rice, but this opening just too good to not make it. It's tipped. And here comes the break. The finish. Throws down the breakaway jam. And that's the kind of play you just do not want to give up defensively. You, you lose the possession and give up a quick two at the other end. High arcing shot. Got a hand on it. Onto Takumbo. Passes to Sabonis. Here's McGrady. That ball's nice feed that time from Sabonis. Well, Grady's got six points in the quarter. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. Irving for three. Drills the three-pointer. And that makes it two three-pointers in the quarter so far and four for the game. McGrady passes to the prop. He kicks to Rice. Here's the profit. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Pelicans trail by six. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Sabonis with the steal. Giannis high post. And out of the Kumbo with the jam. Yeah, and you got to respect the size McGrady has. Easily seen over the defense there to spot the open man. Irving up top. He's got 20. Off target with the free throw line, Jay. McGrady outside. Pass to Rice. It's blocked. Uh, you know, I'm not sure another player combines defense and offense as well as Thurman. The, the only reason he doesn't get more blocks is because so many guys are afraid to bring the ball anywhere near him. The Prophet passes to Giannis. Dishes it to McGrady. A three ball. And they'll get another chance. 
It's deflected, and it ends up out of bounds. No keep possession. Abdul Jabbar's checked in for Yanis on Kanumbo. New Orleans making a switch here. Here's Abdul Jabbar. He has five. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. And Simmons kicks to Jones. To the inside. Haywood. And slam dunk by Haywood. A little artistry in the painted area converting against the size. Proving once again that when you attack with confidence, good things tend to happen. His second foul in as many quarters. We'll see if he backs off or stays aggressive. Here's McGrady. Gets the three-pointer to fall. McGrady's got nine points in the quarter. I love the confidence he's shooting with. Big improvement here in the second period. Timeout out called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. Tight defense on him. Simmons passes to Jones. Sabonis grabs the board. Jones has gone two to six here tonight from the field. Passes to the prop. Kicks it to McGrady. Abdul Jabbar in the post. By Simmons. And not much you can do defensively once Kareem gets the ball in that close. Too much height, too much talent. McGrady against Jones. To the middle. The kick out to Irving. And stolen by Kyrie Irving. And that's rejected by Abdul Jabbar. And they're able to recover. Now, here's Irving. Not a lot of room. Shot clock at five. Jones with it. And Abdul Jabbar picks him up defensively. On the basket by Jones. And so here's the home team. Here's McGrady. Knocks down the three ball. McGrady's got 12 points now in the quarter. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Here's Jones. And it's sent back by Sabonis. Jacks up a three. A shot by McGrady, no good. And so Simmons will bring it up for the Pelicans. A 12-point game. Irving drives in. Got a piece of it. Here's the Prophet. He's got 13. Here's McGrady. And he's good on the three ball. McGrady's got 17 now. Yeah, you gotta love seeing McGrady when he's hot. An amazing score from any spot on the floor. Tipped away. And give him credit. Good awareness of the time remaining. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. Leading by 17. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to start. The offense is flowing like the now. They're working really well together. You have to love the shot selection. This is the way Coach drew it up. And for their opponent, defensive adjustments sorely needed. All right, and now let's talk. And that's a halftime wrap. Let's get back to the second half with the call by Kevin Harlan and the crew. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Kyrie Irving really making a difference here. Well, through the first two, he has been nothing short of a marksman from deep. What can you say? Shooting is a premium in this league, and you can see why. They've got Abdul-Jabbar. 
Profit is out there with Tracy McGrady. And then there's Honda Jacumbo. And it's Rice in at the three slot. And the first one drops. Both shots good from the strike. Here's Irving. And for the Pelicans, we've got Irving. He's out there with Jones. And it's Haywood in at the four spot. On the wing, Irving. Rebound by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Abdul-Jabbar's got five rebounds tonight. Out to the right wing. Back to McGrady. The Prophet passes to Giannis. And he makes good on the layup. He's got 14. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. This has been an impressive performance tonight. Even with a big lead, they've maintained their focus. On the basket by Jones. A quick trigger. And from that range, if he senses the defenders have backed off, forget about it. McGrady outside. And there's the pass to the problem. Fires the three. Shots good by Rice. Rice has got nine. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. Irving up top. He's got 20. And the rejection by Adetokounmpo. Jones looking for an opening. The 19-footer is on the money. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Giannis dishes to McGrady. And McGrady has an impressive vertical there, showing once again with how well he dunks the basketball. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. Nice game. Great performance by Tracy McGrady. And he's on fire from beyond the arc there. It's time to start shaping their game plan around stopping this long-range assault. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. Nate Thurman. 22 points for Kyrie Irving. Here's the Prophet. 15 points in the game. Over to the left wing. Ice kept alive. Pass to the Prophet. He kicks to Rice. There's the triple. Good on the triple. 12 points for him. Assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. In the corner, Irving with it. Fires for three. It's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with the rebound. Antetokounmpo passes to the front. Here's McGrady. Drains it from beyond the arc. McGrady's got five points in the quarter. Oh, great ball movement there. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Down low, here's Thurman. And the rejection by Antetokounmpo. And a lot of attention on Antetokounmpo's offense, but don't sleep on the D. He, he can defend every part of the court and does it with intensity. Rice, no good. And so it's Irving with it, bringing it up for New Orleans. Here's the lob to the hoop. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. Great game for him. Double-double down. 10 points and 12 rebounds. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Here's Rice. Abdul-Jabbar gets the Giannis. Pass to the Prophet. Three-pointer. Here's Rice. 12 points for him. McGrady outside. No good from outside. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Here's Irving. Makes a fantastic move and nails the shot. Irving's got 24. The bus driver with the ball in his hand. Kyrie keeps the defenders off balance. 
Oh, what an impressive triple drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. And they might be down big, but you'd love the mentality he has to go at defenders and just keep attacking. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thanks very much, Kevin. Not that long ago, of course, the analytical team shot way more three-pointers and they found a temporary edge. But now every team shoots a lot of threes and it's more about personnel. When it's a superstar shooting the ball, that mid-range jumper can be very efficient. Guys? And DA, we see it all the time. Brandon Ingram with the New Orleans Pelicans. KD, uh, the two players in, in Phoenix with... Chris Paul and Devin Booker, DeRozan in Chicago. He'll hit those all day long. David, thank you. Efficient performance from him. Not the case for everyone else on his team. Here's Rice. Well, good with the triple. Pelicans trail by 20. Inside and slam dunk by Haywood. Yes. In perfect timing. This run is exactly what they needed, and it's right when they needed it. They couldn't afford to wait any longer. Ice. Good. And it's McGrady who picks up the assist. McGrady's got his seventh assist in the game. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. You know what? They talked about this at halftime, and they're doing a better job of creating space. And the Hornets going with a whole new group out there. Now here's Simmons. He's guarded closely. Good work there as it goes. Nice play by Simmons. So good at switching gears with the ball in his hand. And the dunk by Abdul Jabbar. This is basketball 101. This is the size mismatch you look to create. Here's Birdsong. Nice move. New Orleans moving it around. Just four to shoot. Here's Simmons. And there it is for him. Simmons got eight. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. So the wing on the left. There's the three, and that one's good. McGrady. McGrady's got eight here in the quarter. And, boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. Fades and shoots. Simmons can't get it to go. And that's really just not heads-up basketball. Don't try a fadeaway when nobody's guarding you. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Just simply overpowers the defense. Giannis flexing the muscles he's added to that near seven-foot frame. This will be his third free-throw shot of the game. Here's Simmons. And then Simmons slams it in. And the amazing moves of Simmons. He's just so much fun to watch with the ball in his hand. Nice job capturing the moment on the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. Here's Serbiak, and it's blocked, and he keeps control of the ball. Driving the lane. He just drifts in off the baseline and throws down the amazing reverse windmill. I, I think Greg, he was saving that one for us. Wow. Here's Simmons. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And the free throw line was a problem spot for him in their last game. Really struggled up there. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high percentage shots. Playing smart with the lead. Back to Simmons. Passes it to Zerbiak. And it's good assisting on the play with Simmons. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. The pass to Abdul Jabbar. Sabonis banked in off the glass. And that huge frame 
of Sabonis is a problem for the defense. Excels at getting perfect position on that offensive glass. This could be a problem. That's his fourth foul with plenty of basketball left to play. He's 0-1 from the line, missing on his first trip. Ben Simmons at the line for two. And Simmons drops them both. A walking triple-double threat. Simmons needs to keep working on developing that jump shot to be truly unguardable. The Prophet passes to Giannis. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Releases. Goes back up. Abdul-Jabbar. That's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Bergson passes to Simmons. Hook shot on the way. And it's sent back by Sabonis. And that one goes out of bounds. Out of bounds. Last touched by Sabonis. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead, and this one may already have been decided. Delivering the blowout. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game. And it's presented, as always, by State Farm. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. Sabonis is out there with Abdul-Jabbar. Then it's the Prophet. Then it's Tracy McGrady. And it's Rice in at the three. Cutting to the rim with force. Once Kyrie sees an opening, he seizes it. And he goes in for the dunk. Hey, dunks aren't always for the big foul. A serious power move from the point. Forget just landed in. He wanted to make a statement. Al Simmons. It's stolen by Abdul Jabbar. It's a bonus with the drive. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. Looking to make plays for others. We've seen this from him all night. There has been an emphasis on ball movement, and he's been a major catalyst. It's tipped. This could get even more out of hand if they continue to put up points. Wow, Kevin, what a performance we are seeing. Abdul-Jabbar passes to the problem. Double team Sabonis. Let's it go with a three. Nailed from three-point land. He has a lot of points from long range this half. He's taken advantage of a really tired defense. Got a piece of it. And here they come. And here they go. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Rice has got 14 points here in the second half. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. It's been tremendous job of play calling and execution. They just continue to increase this lead. And how sweet a play was that? As sweet as it gets, an exquisite pass to set up the powerful alley-oop dunk. They retain possession. And they are really racking up the assists in this one. And their team chemistry is evident. These guys enjoy playing with one another. And you simply can't give Rice those close looks because he is going to make you pay. Well, we know confidence is key, but Steve, when you see young players who haven't done much in the playoffs acting like they've arrived, can that kind of confidence hold them back a little bit? Well, you love confidence in anything you do, Kevin. Obviously, you need it, but it can backfire. You love that guys want to say they're great, but it all comes down to proving it. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Johnson kicks to Smith. They set the pick. 
takes it inside, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. On Saturday, they'll tip off a road trip in Boston where they'll take on the Celtics. Then on Wednesday, they'll be matching up with Nikola Jokic and the Cleveland Cavaliers. And Kevin, I think you have to look at this as an opportunity to take a step forward. Sometimes tough road trips can bring the best out of a team and bring you closer together. Alan Junis, good. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Johnson finds Smith. The shot's good. Charles Smith. Smith's got six in the quarter. And they found the touch from the field here in the second half. It was a struggle in that first. Shot by Terry, no good. And you can see the defender's afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. And it's slammed in by Smith. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Here's Barry. Offline from the high post. Barry's gone one of three from the field here. Here's Rice. Pass to Coleman. Over Smith. Alan Junis trying to free himself up, and no good, trying to use the glass. And every year, it seems like outcomes in the playoffs can hinge on health. Steve, it's part of the game, as you well know. It is, Kevin, and we hate it because obviously health can change the direction of a series or a team. But the one thing teams are doing a better job is they are lengthening and going deeper into their bench. All the talent in the world. Smith just needs to stay aggressive for four quarters to be considered among the league's elite power forwards. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second despite being down. And no good on the second free throw, so he goes 0 for 2 there. They are enjoying a commanding lead. And it really gives them the opportunity to give their starters a rest. Always critical when you get ready for that home stretch. Jones against Curry. I pose Johnson. Rebounded by Coleman. Here's Rice, defended by Jones. No good. And New Orleans will come the other way. Now here's Johnson. Pass to Jones. A great one-two punch. Beautiful pass. A nasty jam. One side of a great playmaker hitting his man in stride. Flushed up the D perfectly. Valanchunas has got four points in the quarter. Almost every move Valanchunas makes, there's going to be some contact. He just plays through it. Greg, you read about Jimmy Butler starting his own coffee company, and he did that in the NBA bubble, and he drinks, he say, about, about five cups of coffee a day. Do a lot of NBA players drink coffee to keep them going and get that extra burst? Absolutely. I, I remember drinking coffee on the bench late in my career. Uh, it, it's kind of a comfort food. Warms you up a little bit. and All good things that can get you ready for action, I'm for. Here's Jones uses the glass to finish the lane. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Here's Coleman, covered by Smith. Excellent defense there from Smith. Here's Coleman. That shot missing. Good work defensively by Smith. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the New Orleans Pelicans. And then Smith with the dunk. Unselfish, moving the ball. Love to see this kind of offense. Valanchunas passes to Terry. Here's Coleman, and he converts the layup. Yeah, I'd say a, a pretty good plan to get the ball to Coleman on that low block. It, it takes some very physical defense to contain him, and sometimes even that's not enough. Johnson kicks to Jones. And the rejection by Curry. Passes it to Rice. Alan Junis with the ball. Outside Terry. Here's Coleman. 
and he uses the glass on the layup. Coleman's got four points in the quarter. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. Curry kicks to Terry. No good on the triple. Terry's gone only one of five shooting from the floor. Throws it up high. And the pass there floated it up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. Terry the pass to Rice. Back to Terry. From past the arc. A three-pointer is right on target. Yeah, coming down the stretch, they've become reliant upon their perimeter game. You know, when you're raining threes, you can stack up points in a hurry. But it can go the other way as well. You want your bigs playing big. Rips it down in traffic. And Valanciunas kicks to Curry. A three-pointer, no good. Jones drives in. And it's Rice with the rebound. 1-11 left to play here in the fourth. Terry the pass to Rice. It's Curry outside. Rebound by Smith. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Third personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line for the Pelicans, Charles Smith. And he knocks down the first one. That one misses. They needed more from him there. Any point they can get is absolutely critical for them right now. McGrady kicks to Sabonis. Here's the profit. Good, and it's Sabonis with the assist that time. A late reaction defensively. He quickly takes advantage, grows their lead. You can't afford to give him space. Those kinds of mistakes have been the story of this game. Giannis passes to Abdul Jabal. Inspired tonight. They fought hard and at crucial points just made the plays. Especially during this last run, which ultimately put the game away. Serbiak passes to Abdul Rahim, and he gets it to go. And you know what makes Abdul Rahim so hard to handle in that low post is the number of moves he has. It's just a matter of which one is he going to use. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Second team foul. Free throw good. Giannis. Giannis. At the line for two. Both free throws good from Adetokounmpo. 11 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Tries the spin move. The pass to Jones. And so the home crowd treated to a win. And the out. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Alton.